All right, last story. Bit of a sad note, but I had to cover it. Um, we, I, I think we talked about it when he first went into the hospital. Uh, this is the latest news. DMX has passed away. Uh, this is the world famous rapper, actor, by the way. And I was just kind of like reminiscing a little bit when I saw the news because I actually, I, I, I listened to a lot of DMX growing up. I know people think that might be surprising. I listened to a lot of DMX growing up mm-hmm. and, and I watched those movies and those music videos and, and like the hype Williams movie belly. That was like, we would gather, we would gather around and watch that thing. That was an escape from this way of life. Mm-hmm. growing up around here it was a it was a glimpse into some other world you know and uh so i just went back through and 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 sort of saw what he had done and and recognized and this is how this works is something terrible happens he was 50 years old by the way but this is this is what happens you don't you you start to appreciate something maybe more when it's no longer there. Mm-hmm. And it's a weird human thing that you don't... Anyway, I'm looking into it and I see that this guy had so much success on the Billboard charts and the Wikipedia. It's mind-blowing. I believe he had five consecutive records debuting at number one. Am I crazy? Let's see if you can verify that. It was four or five. He was just so popular and reached so many people almost unexpectedly i was trying to figure out what combination of things was it that made dmx applicable to so many different groups in order to sell that many records yeah he was really big in the 90s like huge it's crazy and i mean for people who don't know for people who don't know they won't know but he also there was more to it i mean he obviously had his issues. Everybody has their issues. He had his issues. Wow, made so many movies too. So many movies. Yeah. yeah Belly in 98. I saw Exit Wounds. Exit Wounds. Yeah. Wow. He did a lot, did a lot of work. Didn't always go according to plan. But the other piece I just wanted to put on it was like he had a religious side to him. He had a uh an introspective aspect. He, you can go watch interviews and and see that there was conflict. You know, he was uh, there was just there was just more to him. There's just more to it, and he he would put certain songs on the record like uh, that that he would just say a prayer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that. And some people had said he should have been a preacher because of the way he would deliver things. And I mean, it's hard to know. I don't know what, you, I don't know what you're supposed to say at a, at, a, at, a, at a moment like that, but it seems significant. Like you want to, you want to mention it. You want to talk about it. I found myself this morning just uh, perusing, like browsing some of the different work there and reminiscing a little bit Mm -hmm. and searching for you know just trying to see what he what what, what he was going through because again as a youngster you're not really looking at it like that like when I was listening to DMX it was kind of superficial in a way you just take it you just listen to it it was the music you put on yeah and Maybe you you don't run the whole comprehensive analysis of the individual and the whole picture mm-hmm. of the landscape of what it's like to live that life. And it's obvious to me as an adult looking back at it now and seeing some of the relationships he had or didn't have with his kids and his own upbringing. And th- th- these are some complex things. Yeah. Well, and, and it turns out that the music business is not, it's not easy on everybody. 
or the media business or whatever you want to call it. It's not easy on everybody. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but anyway, if, uh, if you didn't know him, you can go check out some of the stuff he did. And, and if you did, well, then you already know. Um, rest in peace. Rest in peace.